the review of the iPega breathalyzer for the iPhone 5, and it works with any other device that has the lightning bolt connector, which means the iPad mini, the iPad 4, uh, as well as the iPod Touch 5G. In case you don't know what a breathalyzer does, it gives you your blood alcohol content level, uh, which is how much alcohol you have in your bloodstream. Here in the United States, it may be different in other countries. Uh, you cannot have higher than a 0 .08 blood alcohol content level uh, to drive in a vehicle, which is kind of stupid because I think if you've had any drinks at all, you shouldn't be behind the wheel of a car, uh, but this is kind of just interesting to see what your blood alcohol content level is, and it works with the iPhone 5, so that makes it even cooler. One thing to take note of is this breathalyzer, along with any other breathalyzer, even police breathalyzers, uh, is not going to give you a 100% uh, reading on your blood alcohol content level, uh, so don't exactly go by this, just use this to give you kind of an idea. So obviously, before I can review this thing, I've got to test it out, and to do that, I need some alcohol. Here with me, I got my buddy. His name's Bud Light. <laughs> I picked up a 40 ounce uh, of Bud Light from the store. I'm not a beer drinker. I like girly drinks that actually taste good. I just don't like beer. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this, but I'm gonna try to chug this or drink it as fast as I possibly can. I don't condone alcohol drinking. I just wanna do this because I thought it'd be fun to review an iPhone 5 breathalyzer. Let's have at it. Wait, actually, I guess I should try out the breathalyzer and show that there's no alcohol in my system before I do this. Go ahead and press the button. It's got to do a warm-up period of 10 seconds, and then you blow. Whew. And there we go. The result is zero. Why didn't I just go with something that 